should host your podcast with, right? What distribution platform you desire to use? Which one has the features that you want? Which one can you sign up to host with and you'll be okay rocking with them for the next 5, 10, 15 years. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? What's going on, family? Uh, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones, and this is another episode of Your Podcast Mentor Show. So often people always ask me, John, John. What is a podcast hosting provider? Okay. And who is the hosting provider I should go with? Great question. So here's the trick. There are multiple host providers out there. You might even know a host provider as a distribution platform. Okay. When I first got started, I was rolling with Libsyn. Okay. Because Libsyn was one of the oldest in the game. They've been doing this the longest. They've been hosting podcasts for decades, right? Decades. Imagine that. And then over the years, then I was introduced to Anchor. And then there's also other platforms that, that do different things. So today, what we're going to talk about, okay, I'm going to make sure you get clear understanding on what a podcast host provider is or what a distribution platform is. And then after that, I'm going to just share with you a few distribution platforms that I'm currently looking at as I try to decide and I try to navigate where my podcast will be hosted next, where we're going to take the Beyond the Ball uh, network or Beyond the Ball media next, okay? So first and foremost, a podcast distribution platform or a hosting provider is the place to where you, you the place where your podcast is housed, right? So typically, if you think about computers a long time ago, we would think about the hard drive. And when we save our files to the hard drive on the computer, then we can upload them and then we can send them or email them anywhere and everywhere. So that's really what a host platform does. They house your episodes, they house your content and everything like that. Okay, you got it? You're clear on that. Good, good. The second role that a host provider plays is they're a distribution platform, right? So from your podcast being housed here, now they can send it to Apple, they can send it to Spotify, they can send it to uh, iHeart, Pandora, all these other platforms. So that's the second piece of what a hosting platform does and a hosting provider, what they do. But I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in a bit of a jiffy. I'm in a bit of a little tiff. I'm in a bit to where I'm like, well, wait, okay? Because, you know, I'm married, been married for three years now, and I haven't been courted by any podcast host platforms okay what am i saying so with a with you taking your podcast to a particular host platform you're saying that you trust this platform to do right by you you trust this platform to provide your needs you know good bad you know everything like that in sickness and in health through when you have a lot of downloads and when you have a little download so I've been thinking, where do I want to take my podcast to? Okay, so let me just walk you down through a few options I'm considering. So first, there's uh, Buzzsprout, okay? Buzzsprout is uh, one of the podcast host platforms that I've heard people talk about. And I started doing my research and I'm like, okay, I like what Buzzsprout's doing. And just looking at some of them, I was like, okay, I'm considering Buzzsprout. Then I said, well, maybe... I also should consider Podbean. Just because I like the layout of Podbean's uh, site, I like the layout of what they offer. And I was like, hmm, maybe I'll consider Podbean. But then there was a few new party goers that came to the podcast party. Another one is Castos. One thing I like about the Castos hosting platform is they allow you to have a private podcast. Right. This is one of their specialties and a private podcast is a place to where you now have the opportunity to where not only is there the general content that you're putting out to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and everything like that. You have a separate feed 
to where you can give people exclusive content through this other private podcast. So that's something that cast those offers. And I was like, hmm, that's pretty interesting. I like it. But then there was also Captivate. And Captivate, I appreciate the way that Captivate allows you to download a podcast, basically a podcast one-sheeter. So it's a podcast sponsorship uh, packet to where you can download and then you can have it ready to give to people to where you can begin to do business with people who might be looking to sponsor your show, might be considering sponsoring your show, and different things like that. So I'm sitting here thinking like, wow, there's all these platforms. Then over here, they also have Red Circle, which has a free hosting component to it. And I'm like, man, this is so many decisions or so many things to choose. So I'm going to bring you all on this journey. All right. So I'm in the space now where I'm ideating, trying to decide which platform makes the most sense. I'm trying to decide based on these platforms, can I download uh, like the podcast playlist for my show and then embed it on my website? And I'm just thinking through all these things. So for you, as we get ready to wrap this episode up to a close, and I'm going to bring you all in on the next episode, we're going to do a part two about this. And I'm going to give you a little bit more information on how I've been navigating and why I've gone this way or that way. But the thing I want you to begin to consider is as you're considering who you should host your podcast with, right? What distribution platform you desire to use? Which one has the features that you want? Which one can you sign up to host with and you'll be okay rocking with them for the next 5, 10, 15 years, right? Begin to think about that. Think about if you like the way the platform is moving, if you like what they offer, if you can't live without some of the features that they don't offer, right? If you're like, oh, no, I can't live without this. I need this feature. I need that feature. Then maybe you should consider that in terms of where you are right now uh, with your podcast. Family, this is your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And I want to bring you into my head on this as I'm trying to decide where should I host my podcast next, right? Where do I need to go? Who do I want to work with? What company offers what I need for my needs? This is what you need to be considering as well. Until next time, family. Until next time, if you have any questions, any thoughts, any comments, be sure to drop them just down below in the comment box if you're streaming on YouTube because I would love to answer your questions, even shout you out on an episode if you ask us a question that we haven't done an episode on just yet, right? Meantime, between time, go ahead and write us a helpful review over on the Apple platform and we will shout you out. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Until next time, peace and God bless. Thank you.